This is it. We are going to get into the unboxing of the hitch for the super slow. So this is it. This is the Kurt Class 1 inch and a quarter receiver hitch. Going to be a good deal. My only real beef with this as of this point is look how dusty this is. See that? She's incredibly dirty. What does that tell you? It's been sitting in a factory. I waited over a month for TDOT Performance to put in my goddamn order for this freaking hitch. They already had Bell clearly sitting on a shelf waiting to get packed, waiting to come to me, and no, they just keep me goddamn waiting. So TDOT Performance is gonna get one shithole review. They gate all of the bumper removal and the head tail lights and everything else that goes on because that's another whole step in process in its own right. Today we are going to install a hitch on the 2016 Camaro. There's four bolts, one, two, three, four. I thought this bolted to this. I opened the package, there's no hardware. I'm thinking they forgot my hardware. But instead, once you remove those four bolts, this actually sandwiches between the bumper and the car itself. Interesting design, not something I had actually thought of. But I have spent the last two hours getting myself to the point where we are now, where if I move this down just a little bit, I can actually remove the entire bumper or the crash bar from the car. And I can take and lift a Kurt Class 1. Oh, I don't like this jack at all. So coming up and taking a bit of a closer look, you can see that it's just sandwiched right here between the actual factory bumper. I'll put the factory bolts back in, which also hold the end of the MPP right here. A little bit hard to see because it's kind of dark. It is late. I've been working on this a long, long time. But for those of you that are curious about towing on the Camaro, I will have more of an in-depth review of how it tows and how it performs and what changes and blah, 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 blah. But for actually installing the hitch itself, it just sandwiches itself between the bumper. Kind of uh, an interesting layout. And it'll be, uh, I'm sure, quite the conversation piece in uh, future car meets. So stay tuned for a lot more.